AI tools are helping developers cheat their way into tech jobs at Google, Amazon, Meta, and other big tech companies. And here's why this might change the industry's tech interview process for good. Let's talk about it. As someone who's conducted dozens of technical interviews while I was working at Google, I and many other people in the industry are personally not the biggest fan of LeetCode style questions. Being able to solve some coding brain teasers fast does not reflect how an engineer might perform in a real life work setting. With that being said, I don't condone cheating and don't condone these tools. One of these AI cheating tools that can solve LeetCode problems undetectably during interviews has been in the news a lot recently. It was created by a student at Columbia who's since been suspended, Roy Lee. To understand why Roy's tool matters, we need to look into how tech hiring works in 2025. Every year, hundreds of thousands of developers interview at big tech companies, and almost all of them face one common barrier, the coding interview. For those of you who might not be familiar, coding challenges are one of the types of interviews that big tech candidates must pass in order to get the job. For example, given a matrix, return all elements of the matrix in spiral order, invert a binary tree, return all permutations of a string. LeetCode is the de facto training ground for these interviews. With over 2,500 coding problems and millions of users, it is the industry standard. It contains hundreds of sample questions mimicking what companies like Meta, Google, and Amazon might ask in a real interview. This is where Roy Lee saw an opportunity. He created what he called an interview companion tool. However, this wasn't just another practice aid for pre-interview training. Instead, his tool lets the candidate cheat in virtual interviews by solving the problem in real time, completely undetectable by interview software. Roy ended up landing internship offers at Meta, Amazon, TikTok, and other big tech companies, and even published a video showing how he passed an Amazon interview live by using his AI tool. Let's take a look at it in action. So if you wanted the smallest, you default to max P0, in which case okay. it'd be- Cool, up. cool. Uh, uh, okay, thanks Roy for, for your solution. Um, I think you address, I, I have no more questions. I think you addressed it pretty well. So why are we talking about this? Well. I believe that this has a monumental impact on the software engineering interviewing job market. These tools expose fundamental flaws in how our entire industry evaluates talent. Roy's tool in particular wasn't just a one-off project. He's turned it into a full-blown business, and even though I'm sure companies were already aware of AI cheating tools in the past, this has caused perhaps even more candidates to know about and use this tool. Here's my honest opinion. Please don't cheat and don't use this tool. Despite the sophistication of these tools, there's a high chance that you will be found out and caught once companies figure out how to fight back. LeetCode has enhanced their detection systems and interview platforms are implementing new security measures, but there's still a cat and mouse game between detection and invasion. However, if this tool is undetectable right now, for the honest candidates out there that are grinding hundreds of hours of LeetCode, it isn't fair to be pitted against candidates who are cheating. However, here's where it gets really interesting. This isn't just about catching cheaters. It's forcing our industry to ask a fundamental question. In an age where AI can solve algorithms problems better than humans, should we really still be testing these skills in interviews? As we all know, being a software engineer is so much more than just coding, let alone coding brain teasers under time pressure. It's also about understanding the problem in a real world context, collaborating with teammates, designing robust systems, using code helper tools, writing documentation, scoping and prioritizing these tasks, and thinking about the user. All of these critical parts of the job are not captured at all in LeetCode style questions. LeetCode is more like the one solution fits all way for companies to evaluate candidates quickly, but it's far from perfect. It's like using a standardized test to measure someone's real world capabilities, convenient for the tester, but not always accurate. I do think changing the process will be necessary. For example, back before the pandemic, companies used to often fly out candidates to get interviewed in person for the final round. This obviously would prevent people from being able to look at an AI cheat tool over their own screen, but honestly, it might be more like a bandage over the root problem rather than the true fix. Some other types of interviews that could bypass the need to evaluate on LeetCode problems could be, for example, having the candidate review of mock pull requests with code issues, explain tactical decisions and trade-offs they made in past projects, design a modular feature, or complete a small take-home assignment. To be honest, I know that these might also have their own issues as well. For example, if a candidate spends hours on a take-home assignment, they're essentially doing free work for no pay for the company. But I do think that they are, are viable alternatives to consider. So hopefully these cheating scandals might force the industry to rethink how they can fairly evaluate candidates. But what do you think? Are these tools truly unethical and how should companies adapt? Let me know in the comments below. If you enjoyed watching, hit that like button and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.